Rin's Vegan Life. Today I'm going to make a video on gentle parenting and my experience with it. Please subscribe and hit that like button for more gentle parenting videos. Let's get into it. So I've always been a patient person and I've known in my heart that I want to gently parent my kids. I want to have a relationship with them and um, just love them unconditionally. Over the past year, um, I have started parenting my kids d more harshly. And um, it started ever since Carson started hurting Jocelyn, like hitting, biting, grabbing. And um, that's when I started getting very angry as a parent. And um, it just kind of progressed from there. So I grew up um, getting spankings as a child, uh, me and my siblings. And I remember always hating it. I remember hating when my siblings would get spankings. There's this one specific time that I will never forget. It's just imprinted in my brain where my brother, my dad took my brother in his room to get a spanking with the belt and I was on the couch with my mom. My mom was holding me because I was crying that he was getting a spanking. And I remember as he was getting a spanking, I could hear my brother and I was crying hysterically, kicking and screaming and hitting the couch and I, it got to a point where if my siblings were going to get a spanking, my mom had to take me outside so I wouldn't hear it because it broke my heart. And even still today, I cannot hear other kids getting spankings because it just, like, upsets me and it just, like, really breaks my heart. And I just feel like there's other ways that parents can um, deal with the situation and I feel like spankings um, are kind of a way that you're taking your own anger out on your child even though my parents didn't give me like angry spankings they they didn't immediately spank me if I did something like they sent me to my room and let me think about it and so when they came in my room to spank me they weren't angry I don't necessarily think that spankings are a bad thing if you're doing it n not as an angry parent. But over the past year, I have given my children spankings, um, especially Carson, for hitting and um, disobeying and biting and doing all these things that make me so angry. And I have let myself get angry over the past year, and I need to reel myself back and just reevaluate the way I want to parent and it's been stressing me out. I've been having headaches on a daily basis um, because of stress due to the kids. Lakota, stop licking yourself. That's gross. Can you lay down? Come lay down. Come lay down. So yesterday, I was having a stressful morning with the kids, and the day before, I was also stressed out. I, I let myself get angry, I let myself yell, and this isn't like me, you know, that's not me. I don't want to be that type of a parent. So I looked up on YouTube um, gentle parenting videos, and it inspired me so much. It just like makes sense in my brain the way that these moms are gently parenting their kids. And so I actually had like my first gentle parenting day yesterday, which means no timeouts, no spankings, no yelling. Um, and just it basically entails staying calm just like you want your kids to do, stay calm and evaluate the situation and calmly talk it out with your kids. So that's what I did yesterday and I wanted to share three things that I noticed in just one day of gentle parenting. So the first thing is that both my kids got along so much better than they normally do. By me staying calm, 
they both actually played together and they weren't so sensitive about everything that each other was doing. You know, they were sharing their toys and playing with each other. And there were some disputes, you know, but we just dealt with it calmly. And with Jocelyn, she's one. So she just, she likes making Carson mad. She wants to go up and take his toys and run away. And then she laughs when he gets mad. And so with her, I just have to gently say, you know, don't do that. Let's give the toy back and let's find you a different toy. With, with one-year-olds, distraction really works. So that's what I was doing for her. And then for Carson, I'm trying to teach him instead of reacting, like hitting or um, grabbing her and, and or grabbing the toy, um, instead to just stay calm and come get me so that I can help. Just if she's, bo if she's bothering him, I tell him that he needs to just walk away from the situation instead of reacting so he can come get me and I can help. I don't mind tattling. I'd rather him come get me instead of reacting angrily because you can't reason with her. She's only one. So he can't ask for it back. She's not going to give it back. So um, that's that's the first thing I noticed is they were actually getting along so much better just because there was peace in the home. And I didn't let myself get angry. And that brings me into the next point. It was so crazy how yesterday I didn't get any headaches. I had no head pressure at all. And I, I have not been able to figure out this head pressure. But lately, I've been seeing that this is coming from stress. It's because I'm letting myself get stressed out with the kids. So I actually did not, at the end of the day, I was like, I haven't had head pressure today. I've been feeling amazing. And that's because I've been so calm, I haven't let myself get stressed out. I think stress is a huge cause of problems in the body. And just by keeping myself calm, it's been amazing just for the past two days. Jocelyn's up, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I just rocked her in the rocking chair for like five minutes and she was out again, so she's sleeping. <laughs> so, um, where were we? Okay, so for the first time ever, 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 Carson actually came to me with a pull-up on and said that he needed to poop in the potty. Now, this never happens. If he has a pull-up on, he usually goes poop in his pull-up. But he actually came to me and said that he needed to poop on the potty, even with his pull-up on. And that is a huge deal. And I think that yesterday, because I was being so gentle and calm and kind and encouraging to my kids, I think that Carson wanted to please me. I think he wanted to be good and make himself happy, make himself proud. And it's like he had more confidence. So he actually went poop on the potty even though he was wearing a pull-up. And to me, that was so incredible. It just happened for the first time. And then he did it again today. He hasn't had a single accident today. That's never happened. So I, I think that this gentle parenting thing is amazing. And I think that it makes sense to me and I'm going to start on this journey of gentle parenting because honestly <sighs> yelling stresses me out and it gives me a headache and it doesn't make me feel good it makes me depressed so honestly I want to feel amazing as a parent I want to feel active and loving and I want to love my kids unconditionally Okay, I don't want to take away their toys if they don't listen to me. Now, the only reason I would take away their toy is if Carson was hitting Jocelyn with it. Then I explain, this is your toy, but we're going to put it on top of the refrigerator for now, and then you can try again tomorrow because we do not hit with our toys. And I think that teaches him that 
he can't hit or his toy is going to have to go in timeout. And, you know, his he won't go in timeout, but his toy will because he can't have that toy if he's going to hit Jocelyn. With two kids, it's it's so much different because you have to deal with the, the fighting and the sharing and it's just a lot. And I've watched a lot of videos of gentle parenting when they, they only have one kid, but like Ellen Fisher, she actually has two kids and she has a lot of good uh, gentle parenting tips. And so she's really inspiring to me. Um, and she lately she's even put in her videos that her kids fight and you know, all kids fight. No matter how loved they are, if you're living with someone in the same house, they're, you're probably going to come into some, uh, you're going to bump heads a little bit. And that's okay. My job as a parent is to guide them in the right direction, not control them, not force them to do things. Um, out of, you know, they they get to make their own decisions and I want to respect them as human beings the way I respect anybody else. Their opinions are important and they matter. And this, I seriously, I swear, I'm, I'm changing my life because over the past year has been, it's, it's not been fun for me as a parent. You know, I, I've, it's not like I've been angry every day. Like, that's not it. It's just that there are times where I let myself go and I let myself get really stressed out and angry. And that brings my life down, you know? And I want to live up here. I just want to read a passage out of the Bible that um, it describes exactly the kind of mother that I want to be to my kids. So if you're not religious, then you can go ahead and click out of the video or whatever. But um, I'm just going to read this passage real quick and I'm going to show you guys the exact kind of mother that I want to be to my kids. Okay, this is 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 8. Now, a lot of my Christian friends watching this, you probably already know, but it's just a good reminder. So here we go. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. So we say we want to love our kids unconditionally and that is how I want to love my kids. So it says in there that love is not easily angered and I want to be that mom. So that is what I'm working on. That is my journey. So I'm going to be making gentle parenting videos um, and I'm really excited about this. So I hope you join in with me, hit the subscribe button, like and share, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.